Hey there, gorgeous gays! Version 2 here with Pajafar. Um, we are in the trial now. Um, this could be the end of this. I mean, this is the second case of the game. So it being a three day affair, because it was only the last case and the extra last case last time that were three day affairs. Um, both of um, episode two and three last time were two day affairs. So this could be the end of this. I feel like we've got enough of an idea of what's going on that by just cross-examining people we might be able to do this today, but maybe also, maybe the game's just way longer and every single case outside the tutorial will be three days. Hard to say, it's hard to say, but we're gonna go into that, um, as you can see by the talking above here. It's incredibly fucking hot and incredibly fucking humid right now, um, so if I'm irritable or uh, stupid, uh, blame the heat stroke that I'm probably going to be having for this entire stream. I'm also going to be downing a shitload of these to keep my mouth wet, and I'm going to be drinking a lot of this so I don't die of dehydration. It's going to be the entire week. It's going to be a fun week in- We're meant to be in fucking autumn at this point! Arr, arr, arr. We're meant to be in autumn! What the fuck is this? Grr. Grr. So I told you, I'm already irritable. I'm already irritable with, with the heat. Thing is, is that it's really hot, and I've just started the stream, and I have a giant light on me, and the windows are closed. So, you know, it's fun. It's fun. I, I, maybe I should pester my uh, landlord to install air conditioning in my fucking room. <laughs> I'm sure that would go well. Um, Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me. So how long has Francisco been a fucking um, prosecutor? Like, how long has that been for? Um, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time all by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah, I'm sure she had a lot of pressure from her father's reputation and behavior and attitude <laughs> for 20 years. It's very impressive. Really happy about it. And then you look at me and, well, I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm a suspect in a murder trial. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Hey, Mikey. You gotta get a Quokka. We need Quokka friends. Maya has been through a lot of shit, by the way. Phoenix has a very good point here. This, this girl is 18 and this is the second time that she's been accused of murder. The first time being her sister. Good morning! <laughs> Two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Well, it's not like that. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show us support! Uh, Fuck. Fuck, and also shit, and also damn. Ah, actually, I guess she needs to be here if we're gonna lock her in fucking jail. So... Oh, God. Oh, God, we're gonna lock this girl's mother away right in front of her. Oh, we thought... We thought Maya went through some shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Pelly. Hey, Pearls? Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? If I was about to go through some trauma, it'd be just like Mystic Maya. <laughs> Mystic Maya went through some trauma as well. Oh, I want to be just like Mystic Maya. Huh? I, I was sort of hoping to see an audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I feel confident enough without her help. I feel like Phoenix is also doing this because he doesn't want her to watch. Very much feel like he doesn't want her to watch. Mr. Nick, that's enough! You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. Pearly, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Bells? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, Dad. I'll leave you two for your alone time. To your alone time. Pearl, please. Time to offer a child for justice! 
Justice for all? Justice for the orphaned child! It's okay. Phew. Thank goodness. Nick? This way, Pearl... Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, this way Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. Yup, yup. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. Again, I've mentioned it before. I've mentioned it before. And the writing has just done so well for it. And I think someone was saying in an interview that it was, like, deliberately intended that way. Or at least the way it was done naturally results in it. But, um, the, how often, like, the player's likely thought process lines up with what Phoenix is already thinking is incredible. It's very well done. It's very well done. How's the part- sorry, just how's the part of my head that far over? What the fuck? The per, the part in my head, like, falls over when I- when I go- like, when I go to work. It was, like, so much further over. Maybe that's why my hair's always shut on stream. I don't repart my hair after it's fallen over for the whole day. Phoenix may be an idiot, but he's a good guy. <laughs> Dumb of ass, but heart of gold. What do you mean? What's going on? <laughs> yep, yep, Phoenix is uh, very aware. Oh shit, I, I, I somehow always forget. I somehow always forget. The obnoxious bit that no one likes. Court is now in search for the trial of my affair. What if I just hold it against that time? The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's stop it off. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you might put a name for yourself, Phoenix. <laughs> Don't be foolish, you foolish fool wearing the foolish, the foolish clothes. Music's a tad loud. Oh, right, I haven't turned... Oh, right, you're, 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 com you're completely correct. I have not turned down this game because Phoenix, uh, because uh, this game is way louder than the others. Sorry, I had it set to Splatoon, but I, I had it set to Splatoon levels. My bad, my bad. Thank you. Does 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 she always have to use the word fool? Fool is one of the harder words for me to do with her with the really bad accent that I'm giving her. It's one of the hardest ones, and she always has to use it. The famous one is me. I'm the fraud who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Five? You started at 13. Wow. I was about to say, Phoenix hasn't lost a case. He hasn't been a defense attorney for five years, though. <laughs> so. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Mr. McConnell. Hmm. I thought I'd see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. <laughs> Pretty sure that's against the laws of aviation. What? <laughs> Shock went right over my head there. I, I like how she's just like, okay, yeah, so that's that is not Pearl. Uh, let's show what they say. I mean, really are scary when they fight. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Uh, 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 all right, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? <laughs> but, Ms. Von Kalmar, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then, that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Th 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 then what is the meaning of this? All I am saying is that Maya Fey, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Faith, of a sound. Ah, uh, fuck. Just as I suspected. Aunt oh, Morgan. Oh, man. She seems really torn by this. Also seems like she possibly would have expected this. Also, if we're... 
If we're, cro we're cross-examining her now, then part two of the trial would be cross-examining someone else. And typically the last person you cross-examine is the person who did it. I mean, they could just change it off. Like, it could just be different. I mean, there's also technically Von Karma did it, but you're cross-examining Edgeworth, so there is that. Witness, name and doctor kid, occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I'm a spirit medium in a manner of speaking. <laughs> sorry, I just have to now because she's evil. I'm sorry, but what do you mean in a manner of speaking? Ah, oh, I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed a spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. That is a spirit severing technique. Technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is. Yes, that is. <laughs> you, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have. Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room! Ah, oh, god damn it. What? I knew we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fede, one in possessed state, to manage to escape from the channeling chamber. Order, order, order. Miss Fade, please testify to discover what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. Alright, here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. After we hit the gunshots, those who broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. Esther was hanging from Mystic Maya's hands and she was in a daze. Then quite suddenly she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Why have you hidden this until now? I... I do not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is she making it a point to take a stab? Never mind. <laughs> Mr. Wright, new cross-examination, please. Wright is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Just press everything until we do until we're done. So we're going to be we're going to like pay attention to what specifically is this. Okay. So let the gunshots. Two broke the door open and entered the chamber. Hold it. Just now you said those two. Who are the two people you're referring to? Phoenix, please. I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Um, what is that a foreigner despite how she talks? Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I said we cannot understand her atrocious English. Not to mention she was awful. I didn't see people in the Holland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I've already sent her further to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. What'd you do after that, Miss That's correct. Wait, did she tell us? Is it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm. Yes, that is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another... Another woman. Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. Really don't want us to lack a huh? <laughs> now... Now it's just like, yeah, yeah, no, she's just gonna insult everyone. Also, we're in a courtroom! I wanna hear the end of that sentence. Question further, obviously. Obviously, question further. What are you. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must justify. Why'd you chase us out of the room? I see, we not wish there to be more victims. 
the lives of the good sir, and that camera lord may be in danger. That's what I thought to myself. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. Unfortunately, that's believable in the context of the courtroom. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my own for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. During our investigation, you say that you struck the defendant on the head. And this strike caused my uh, Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. But why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however. Objection! The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. Just covering for Maya? So you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. But the renegade mystic Maya got something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What, pray tell, did you? Ugh! These winners didn't think good to have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Uh, yes, very well. I feel like there's a rock at the pit of my stomach. Now, witness, continue with what happened. She thrusted um, me away from herself and escaped from me. Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit to such a thing, however, yes. You are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There's no way she could have escaped from you so easily. How do you forgot on already, Mr. Phoenix Light? What about this picture? Remember that at the time the defendant was not physically my opponent. <laughs> hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know for a Basically, Mr. Klein's body was still nicer than that she had called. If she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have, however. You're saying she hit the base of my arm. Uh, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. You fainted. I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I, I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps? And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Yeppy? Witness, elaborate on that point for us. <laughs> elaborate on it, I have no idea. Is that because you're unconscious? Why, yes! Great, well, now what? <laughs> that went, that went far. Question further, because there's no harm. When you're unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. There are so many real flags in a real court. This entire testimony would be disregarded. It's just so, like, in bullshit, in bullshit Phoenix worlds, Japanifornia. Yeah, it's absolutely solid because it's on us to find, a, like, a um contradiction with it. When, which when she's so wishy-washy and, like, not explaining things, and it's in this world that works. Giving us hardly any details is actually good for you in this universe, which is fucked. So you're unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. So things like, I guess I lied and don't worry about it. Yeah, I know, right? I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true. Then how can you ever show the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. Basically proves they're completely unreliable. That doesn't matter here. <laughs> that doesn't matter in this courtroom. Being an unreliable to um witness just means you're a witness. <laughs> oh wow, no actual gavel on that one. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? I mean, she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll get to the second witness super quick then. So Miss Montana's ready to move on to my next witness. Okay, that's what's happening. That's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. Judge, I... Oh, this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now let's take the next logical step and ask. 
Where did the attendant go after leaving the channel in the chamber? Yes, yes. Ah! Ah! Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escape has done, um, what the escape be had done when, um, ah, what the escape be had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She went to speak with someone. <laughs> Give me gamble chances! Who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Amy Minnie, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Any mini. I think you can see where this is headed. Okay, so any mini is down. Okay. Wait, it's the name of your passion. Um, okay, so my name is like any mini. I'm like researching like parapsychology stuff at the um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's say. I guess, it's like, I guess most people would call it a cult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can say I understand what that means. But I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. <laughs> now then, Miss Minnie. After the murder took place, you spoke to the offender in my opinion. Is this correct? Um, well, yeah, like, I guess. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is alright, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some balls for my sake. <laughs> what, are you worried that Francisca's gonna, like, fucking Casino Royale you and just whip you in the testicles repeatedly? She probably would. <laughs> Quarters agendas, I go home and ask my grandson how to Google occult things. Like, when the channeling started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was, like, oh my god, totally my sister! I, like, hadn't seen her in, like, so long. I was so happy in, like, a sad way. My sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered was your sister. Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Faye? Really now, you're on. Maya Faye was still in the middle of channeling at the time. Are, are you saying that the spirit that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Min. She was a nurse at Dr. Grace Clinic. Oh, well, well, well this is... Witness. Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Minnie, please. <laughs> Struggling to find a single brain cell that's operational right now. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. She took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Yes. There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. To look at it, the end. Let me gavel! What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This. That's money just now. Is it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Maya, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well spun lies can be undone. 
We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out most foolishly foolish the rebel. I wonder if you'll make this one more entertaining than the last. Again, we're still fairly confident of just like what I well, like. Well, the exact nature of what happened and how, still not a hundred percent sure. But we fucking know for a fact that these two, like Innie and fucking Morgan, are working together on this shit. And like Maya never channeled anyone. We know that. We know that Maya never never channeled anyone. We know that that's bullshit. The only the thing is the questions that it raises. If Maya never channeled anyone, is those photos of Mimi, what's happening there? What is happening there? Because that's the part that we're still not sure of. Like, when the channeling started, I was like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later someone came into the room like, oh, okay, so this is here. Okay, so we're going, yeah, we're going from here. So this is going to be like, this is going to be a long actual thing then, if we're starting from here. Maybe Innie and Mimi, Mimi just look very alike um, when, you know, Innie actually opens her fucking eyes. <laughs> Maybe it's just that. Maybe just because her eyes are always shut, it just looks like a different person compared to the photo that we have. Was that because of your, um, sesame allergy? Was it? Like, that's right! Phoenix, stop giving them information that they've forgotten that they're lying about. Like, I think there was SMS seeds. Like, in that lunch they said that day. I had this, the premonition that it was gonna be totally a city day. Yes, indeed. Hmm, I see. Am I the only one who missed the board here? <laughs> Sesame seeds, Phoenix, it's a pun. Anyway, so you were taking a nap, and something happened while you were sleeping. Someone came into the room really silly. Do you know the sign? Um, uh, like, maybe a little before 11 a.m. Something like that, I think. 11 a.m. Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Did you say lunch or breakfast for when the food was served to you? The perfect disguise. If you go by, I can't see you. You can't ID me. That's how I sneak into bars all the time. That thing that I need to do, being 29 years old, sneak into bars because because I'm underage. Ah, uh, no, I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking the time it is now. <laughs> okay, okay, that's what's happening. <laughs> I mean, what time was it when the someone came into your room? <laughs> oh, so like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more like clear about it. Sorry, my bad. Nah, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop in sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Never mind. Wait, about this person went to the side room. That is... That is her playing it up to not save the time. That's her playing it up to just get Phoenix to drop it. Phoenix, please. Do we actually have a thing if I look at this without presenting it? Do we, what's the autopsy say time of death is? It doesn't say that. Probably because it doesn't need to because we're, like, we're pretty clear on time of death. I just have, I don't know, I don't know the time frames of the case, but I don't know how strictly important they are except for working out where Maya went outside of that. Oh my god, telling my sister. Are you absolutely sure? I guess? Yes. Was it or was it not your sister who went in? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. First off, my name is not Mrs. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. But more than that, she managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright. The, the defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness. How did you feel when you saw Miss Mimi Minnie? Very much feel like it's an act at this point. Very much feel like... 
It's an act. She's reciting her answers by heart. Oh my god, ow, 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 sorry, my friends. Ow. Ow. You were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead one alive again? Dead left one alive again? Um, but, like, maybe if I was, like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult, but I, like, know of all about the Korean channeling technique. But the point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like what she said. Question further, so I'm So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But how? Don't get bad drink. You know the phrase objection? Could you try using that once in a while? Hmm, Mr. Wood. This question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister. Is it really that important? <laughs> objection guiding the witness's testimony. I'm gonna say nothing for time being, and if nothing else comes up, then we come back to this. <laughs> is it really that important? Let me ask you. Is it really that important for you to ask? Of course it's very important. Well, I don't think it's that important at all! Ow! Stop spewing such nonsensical things then! Pay no attention to this twit and continual witness. <laughs> like, okay. It's not, it's, they're saying it's absurdities, but it's, but, but they've firmly established that in universe, this world is fucked. <laughs> they've firmly established that the court, um, the court system in this universe is deeply, deeply corrupt. All the bullshit that we deal with is by design because of how fucked up the world is here. Like, like, court trials have to be settled three days after an incident occurs, like... It's not, it's explicitly meant to be completely and utterly fucked. My sister, she like told me something like totally terrible. Oh, I should put a lot of thought into this line, didn't she? I can't rush this. So it's only one second at a time. Just bound to stop something. Don't give up. But I get careless, okay? Remember, calm and collected. I wanna go back to that one. I forgot to press it. Something terrible. What's this thing she told you? Huh? Like, didn't I just, like, tell you about it? Did you, like, forget already? A foolish fool with a foolish seed for a brain only speaks foolishly with foolish words. Well, excuse me, princess. Should I, <laughs> should I ask to hear the story again? Yes. I'm sorry, but can I hear the story one more time? Like, sure, no problem. I even, like, tell a specular like for you. Okay, so this just replays this then, okay. That was not an accident, I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was wondering if I could press any part of this, but no. I was not That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair. Like, how was that? It was a little scary. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, maybe I should, uh, maybe I like put too much spookiness into it. Okay. <laughs> so that just replays that, okay. Okay, so this one. So we're just gonna press this one and just say it's super important. And we're just gonna say it's super fucking important. Question further. So we just keep pushing. Ow! <laughs> oh, it is very important. <laughs> it is very important. Although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. <laughs> but I've got a bluff and now make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. All right, Miss Wright. Miss Minnie, please amend your testimony. Like a cat. I like to let go of that. Okay, so it just changes this. It wasn't like, 
I wasn't like scared at all. And her and like her costume looks totally like normal. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we fucked her up. Now she's fucked up. And <laughs> now we fucked her up. Because this is bullshit. <laughs> she adjusted her testimony and now it's bullshit. Normal? Is it normally covered in blood? So there was nothing odd about your um at all about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, nothing was like weird. Hmm. I was talking to myself like she's found something wrong. That's impossible. Like, is everything okay? Can I like get on? There we go. There we go. There we go. Press her so hard that she's forced to change what she's remembered to say, and she has to come up with something, and it totally exposes that she's fucking lying. Uh, is it this photo? This photo. There we go. Your sister had, had nowhere near that big boobs when she was alive. I mean, I mean, I mean, the blood, the, the blood that was all over her boobs. I mean, costume, costume. It still feels weird that we're calling it a costume, by the way. Considering it's just like... What they wear to do their... <laughs> like, costumes is the weird word for it. That was a very well-spun line, isn't it? What are you battling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well-constructed, but that's all it is. <laughs> Alright, you're just stealing me as thunder now? Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? <laughs> Miss Minnie, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, uh, uh, like, yeah, and... But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. Look at this photograph! This is a picture of the sister you met. I don't think that even so- even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The blood spray. Miss Minnie, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Ah! Order, order. Miss Minnie. What is the meaning of this? Also, I've also noticed something, and I think... One thing. Okay. Okay. I have no idea why. Unless it wasn't intentional. I'm just thinking about <coughs> any <laughs> and any, you know. But it explains explain some things about how the, um, channeling went down. Order, order, Miss Minnie, what is the meaning of this? Miss Minnie. I'm thinking, don't interrupt me! Oh my god, she opened her eyes for the first time. Oh, uh, that, yeah! And what are you stumbling about, Your Honor? Um, oh, uh, well, I, uh, 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 uh. That was... That's not only did a complete 180 there. What's people do that when they get on the stand? <laughs> not me has worked it out. Not me has worked it out, sir. First of all, calm yourself with this. Like, I'm sorry. I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now, yeah, hurry up with the testimony. I, I, if you please. Ugh, Judge, that looks a little shaken up. What a help he's gonna be. <laughs> Like, that side room was like, kinda dark, you know? It was like the middle of the day. And right at the door of the side room is outside. So, like, the costume is like, pepper, right? The blood totally blended right in. 
What about the blood on the boobs? That would stand out! That would still stand out! Her boobs aren't purple! And I don't persuade my sister it wasn't like right to do something like that. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Hmm. Yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. Uh, yeah, clear, sure. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? No! All right, I guess not. <laughs> Very well, you may question the witness. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Phoenix doesn't even say anything. It's just like, what the fuck do you think? Bullshit! Really? Because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Don't put your subjective opinions on, onto this court. <laughs> that is not what that word means. Like, that's bad. Um, excuse me, but how is my statement any more subjective than Miss Minutes? You are such a hopeless cause. Witness, you may feel free to ignore this threat of man. Like, okay. Can't breathe. Let me out of here. Okay. So it's bullshit, but we just can't do anything about it because of because of the way Von Karma acts. Okay. The blood to to totally blended in. Blood on the boobs! You didn't see the blood. Like, yeah. But she must have had a gun with her at that time as well. That's, um... Are you gonna tell me the next thing you didn't notice the gun either? Uh, like, totally didn't. All I was looking at was, like, her face. Continue. Uh, but so my sister was like, it wasn't like bad to do something like that. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi, like at the time? Well, she was like, totally flipped out. She just shot at the grave. But I think, like, she knew. She, like, said she did something really bad. And, like, she said she wanted to go with me. Like, to apologize to Miss Morgan. The Mimi Spirit really say all that to you. Like, yeah. And then he took his Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, it, like, Taking her event on the grade, like, made her feel a lot better. <laughs> yeah, that's... Mm, yeah, to, yeah, 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 okay. I'd like to be a little bit of talk, Mr. Phoenix, right? The sooner the better. She says with her whip at the And that Miss Margaret was the only one in the channel, how about you now? I'll ask you one more thing, Miss Minnie. Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Like, when do you mean? Uh, when? Um. When you were going there? <laughs> I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, not, no, nothing strange. And bam. Right there. Right there. Right, right fucking there. <laughs> Press harder. Press harder. Think harder. I know you can remember something. I like that of the can. That's not good enough! You have to explain yourself clearly to this guy. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber is all that important? It's very important. It's very important. That's because it is very important! Not that I know where I'm going with this. Oh, Phoenix, I know- Phoenix, I know where you're going with this! I know where you're going with this! Very well. Miss Minnie, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. Oh, you're even saying you didn't see anyone. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay, perfect. Try to remember that time. Oh, like, I remember. I remember, like, I totally didn't see anyone on the way. Something you, uh, something you finally pull out of a witness is uh, never a dead end. 
judge believes his testimony. If you don't find some sort of hitch in a statement, you're in the trial. Okay, let's give it another shot. No matter how times we listen, we can't give up. Okay. So what, what evidence do I present for this? Do I have the... I do. I do. I do have this, yes. I think I just throw this at them. I'm just gonna throw. I'm just gonna throw this at them. I finally found the fault, or I guess in your case, the crack in your perfect lie. Take a look at this urn. Like urn, there are cracks. Do you see them? So, like, what is that per? Who cares about some more until done? Like, yeah, I already, like, said I didn't see anyone, like, on the way to the channeling chamber. I didn't, like, tell totally us anything about, like, an urn, did I? <laughs> it looks like you still don't understand. I propose that if you had really been walking along the winding way at that time, there was no way you could not have seen this person. Pearl! I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Miss Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Yes. And how is this child relevant? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. Oh. And she just happened to break this urn. Oh. Oh! W -w Wait, she broke the arm? Yup. She accidentally knocked it over with her ball. Ah! And Pearl was the one to put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. Look at that picture of this crying child. What? Do that again. Do that again. I swear that's deliberately meant to look like when she did that, that her face looks like a ghost. Miss Minnie. Ah. Pearl was there on the winding way at the time. She was hard at work, putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. Gah! Well, to be fair, to be fair, any doesn't open her eyes. <laughs> to be fair, any doesn't open her eyes. <laughs> I think I've specially proven one thing this morning. You are a masterful liar. Yeah, totally looks like a ghost. Totally looks like a ghost. Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what she say she's saying is the witness. So, Miss Minnie, tell us the truth. About what? About what? About what you really were at the time of the murder, of course. The witness just testified about that. That's right. I was, like, sleeping in the side room. I don't really believe her. Was she really sleeping in the side room? We never confirmed that she was there. We never confirmed she was there before before we went there. We never did that. I don't know if we have anything that would prove that. Yeah, I guess so. Now nah, we're on the offensive. We've got to push it hard. Your lies end here. What about... <laughs> I keep skipping things too much because I keep accidentally double pressing A. The winner says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible, because it's clearly a contradiction. A contradiction? Where is this contradiction? <laughs> Help me, Mia! Help me, Mia! <laughs> Would I have a contradiction to say that she wasn't sleeping? Because that doesn't really say anything. I mean, I'd say it's in her testimony. I'd say it's in her testimony. Because even if she was there, she would have, like, heard the thing break. Pearl would have, like, seen Maya walk over. And stuff. Like, there would have been everything. Earlier in testimony, Miss Minnie, you made the following statement. And that Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? She did also say that. How the fuck would she know that? It's true that at the time, both myself and Miss Hart were not there. 
and we're gonna call the police. So? Lo, what does that have to do with anything? It's very simple. It's Minnie. How did you know that fact? H how? I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the tournament. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that! Wow, she- that was like one of the earliest things she said, too. That was one of the earliest things she said that just showed that she was bullshitting the entire time. Which means, Miss Minnie, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by the way of the winding way. <laughs> but look at the matter of guide map. It also says partial on the corner. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why... Which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, uh, Miss Minnie, please answer the question. What are you smug about? Pull that question off a baseless assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose if you put it out on the table, Mr. Phoenix, right? You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now it's a chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was any mini. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't have been Morgan, because Morgan was outside with us. Any did it. Any did it. So the aren't like again, I guess I guess I guess any and Mi uh, Mimi for some reason look a lot alike. Um because that photo is like of the sister. It's of her sister. <laughs> So now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? Channeling chamber. Though, so how do we prove channeling chamber? I want to say around, like, the back here. Behind the fucking, um... Thing. Or present ones always scare me. Present ones always scare me. Take that. This mini was here, of course. What? Well, that's the challenge here. Isn't that the claim scene? That's right. This mini was at the scene of the crime. There we go. What I'm trying to say where in challenge chamber she is, just that she is there. Order, order, order. That's the. Uh. Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yes, there is testimony established that only victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. You see, any mini was hiding at the scene of the crime. I, I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? Oh, uh, now we, now we just say it's behind here. Behind the, behind the, behind, behind here. Behind the folding screen. Ah! Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. <laughs> Pug. All right, no way anyone was hanging out behind that golden screen. Say, you stupid jerk! Grab into a crate put pin on mess above. No, no, Miss Minnie. One so young as you should be saying. Shut up, Gramps! As if you know exactly how old I am. Uh, I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Maybe I should help it along. Okay, yes, she does. She absolutely looks like her sister. For some reason. Well, um, well, um, when she is just normal. Okay. Witness behind the bottom screen with the help of this. I mean, we go for this, right? Because there's a bullet hole here. There's a bullet hole here. So it was in the it was in the chamber at the time. If they ask that, we can prove it. Miss Minnie, how were you able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime? Is very simple. You were. Hiding inside this box. Yeah, let's fucking go! Turn about, baby! Turn about, motherfuckers! Yeah! Ah! That, that tiny little box? Not pass like a bit inside that. 
Sorry, but your theory's already been disproved. A lot of disproved when she was hiding from me in it yesterday. Haha. <laughs> um. But that clothing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with your mother at all. That's right! I was sleeping there, so I should know. The clothing box is there in the side room the whole time. That's right. Do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? I can, with some evidence. And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box is at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. So do I use the bullet hole in this or do I use the bullet? I use the bullet, I use this, right? It probably works for either of them. It probably works for either of them. Take a look at this clothing box. Yes, so stupid. As if there's any sort of evidence of that old thing. This. What on earth? Ugh. I don't have time to sit there surprised. I don't even to say it already. There's a hole about eight inches off the ground. Hmm. A hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? Oh, I love Phoenix when he's doing this. Oh, oh, and Phoenix gets in there. Oh, fuck, he's so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> the four things. They have a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then into the box. Nah! Miss Minnie, you were hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray! Ah! Order, order! So what are you saying? <laughs> then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that person in this photo is Miss Eenie Minnie? That is exactly what I am saying. Miss Any Minnie, you were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. To masquerade as Maya Fey? She planned it all from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Grey and pin the blame on my client. Na no, stop! I can't stand to listen anymore to this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix and I, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene. Pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. It's not possible for one person to do that all by herself. Correct, it's not possible. Yeah, you're right. It really is impossible for one person to do all the preparations, it is. Ow! <laughs> Need I remind you the footage for Sip the Mercy? Wait, it's Von Karma. You said it was not possible for one person, correct? What? You can't be serious. Oh, yep, yep, we got her! We fucking got her! She is Malefist! <laughs> Miss Minnie, you had an accomplice. Morgan Fay. God, this person! If it wasn't someone from the Karain village, you wouldn't have gotten the costume. You couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Fay household, you wouldn't have that box to use. Morgan Fay? Is that the one of the lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say about this, Miss Minnie? Gah! Gah! You shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? I think this is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime, long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then, the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping mood. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with the knife. Next, she had my client inside the clothing box. She did that she could take Maya's place, 
frame her for the crime. We are lucky that Maya's uninjured, by the way. If Maya was in the box and the bullet happened to hit the box and happened to go through like part of the outfit and it didn't actually hit Maya, we are lucky. We are so fucking lucky. But that's when something unexpected happens. Unexpected? Yes. Bang. Dr. Grey was actually not yet dead. For the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Grey and... After that, you and the other lady thought to break into the room. Yes, her gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Miss Minnie. She immediately covered her in costume with blood. And pretend to be my affair. But that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Faye chased us out. Please. Please save this area to me. Go quickly and find the police. Hurry! Before there are more victims here. Yeah, because they weren't expecting the gunshot, so they had to fucking rush for the rest of it. If Grey didn't act in self-defense, like, this would have been way harder to discover what had actually fucking happened. W what is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. <laughs> Who is that? Life, I get a turn like this. Ah! Oh, you're still my dead fools. I'm sorry, are you still by chance evolving? What is it this time? Miss Von Comer. Surely. Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of the Von Comer blood would those do to something this petty? What in the world? Where, what? Where are you gonna go with this? Mr. Phoenix right. Your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is... If this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be a one, putting on this whole act. What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Yeah? Well, that's... Uh... Yeah, that's right! That's exactly what I was gonna say! Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Any Mini want to kill Dr. Grey? Where is her motive? Yeah, that's exactly what I want to say too. Yeah, motive! I don't have a motive! Is is motive really where you're gonna go with this? Are you really gonna go with motive of all things? This is the this is the most obvious part of the whole thing! The motive was the initial reason we had any suspicion of you! In any capacity! This is a weak defense. You are grasping at straws. You are grasping at straws. Do we need motive when we have evidence? When the evidence is as not strictly circumstantial as this or anything like that, but... To, for, to, I mean, I, obviously this is real world stuff. In the real world, I'm pretty sure to actually charge someone with murder, motive does need to be a part of it. It's a turning motive. It only sometimes matters. A motive? That's... I can't say she has no motive here. I think of a motive now. What was her reason wanting Dr. Grey death? This is so obvious. Because Dr. Grey killed her fucking sister! <laughs> I mean, it's both of these combined. It's both of these combined. Two women crashed. Um, driver falls over the wheel. Um, was that... Yeah, yeah, Grey Surgical Clinic. This does say Grey. You can give us the motive. <laughs> You're the couple <laughs> by charge of murder would make it a lot easier. In real life, stuff like murder and premeditation would um, define if it's like what degree and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mo yeah motive needs to be part of it for the for the um for certain charges to stick. You can still have like lower charges without or anything like that, but yeah. Take that! Ha! Just what I thought. You bought me this. You're the answers, Phoenix today. She's, she's fucking Good thing I did this to get the revenge for my sister's death. Yes. Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't 
to be stopped. <laughs> so, that, so I'm get I'm just doing Bogoma voice right now because she's confident. Don't be stupid! No one has proved that Dr. Craig drugged my sister, right? Anyone say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? Senna, stupid grams! I'm like gonna explain. So like please listen, okay? It's been over half a year yeah, since I was discharged from the hospital. If I like won revenge, then like I wouldn't have waited this long. Um, and sad. Like the guy that thought of the spirit thing was like, that's a gray. It was like a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She's she's back to it it hurt. <laughs> However, you so Ouch! Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix, right? You'll be able to support your own theory. The end. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? What Miss Minnie um has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan um fate to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your points. Yes, yes. So many faults, Mr. Phoenix right. You should really run the place. What happened? I thought I had ever sure. <laughs> <laughs> Say, but it's just as I like told you. I hope you like to slice a humble pie. Very well. I now conclude the cross examination of Miss Any Mini. <laughs> Your Honor, please allow the defense one more minute. All right. You can't lose here. A faith in his enemies. Yeah, so it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it is also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Wright. The final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Ms. Minnie has a motive, had a motive, then... Why did she kill the victim this way? Can you provide the reason? Can I? Can I really do this? Yeah, we can. We can. I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this. Now. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Minnie had a motive. Ha ha ha. Too bad. You're too bad. My cross examination has already ended. After that. Heck. Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix. Why? <laughs> You're supposed to be a mazad. Hi! Avon, come on, only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix, right? Hey, Avon. Sup? You are a foolish, foolish who is foolishly late. <laughs> and I don't care if you are my witness. So help me, I will throw you out of my way. No way. Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. We will continue the cross examination after we reconvene. Hey, what a say! <laughs> surely, surely any so desperately just being like, no, it's done! Everyone shut up, it's done! Would be uh, evidence that, oh, uh, she fucking did it. <laughs> No, there's a reason. There is a reason, and it's mainly, and it all comes back to that car accident. It all comes back to the car accident, which then really makes me wonder about like so many, uh, like so much of the history of this. Are we going to somehow find out that Gray was innocent of like everything except for self-defense? <laughs> oh, is that what we're gonna find out here? Because that's what I'm half wondering. That's what I'm half fucking wondering. There is no way any could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. And under the circumstances, there is no one else other than your aunt, Morgan. That's terrible. Why? Why would my aunt... Everything has gone just as I predicted, Mr. Phoenix, right? Oh! Sir! Von Karma! As you predicted? Now you're panicking at points there. Hi, Von Karma. But we, we see you in a different part, in like a different... Like, we have one of these sprites of you. Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? 
They get nothing to do with what happened to your dad. At all. To be fair, to be fair, it was Maya's idea. Maya was the one who came up with the idea that it was possibly Von Karma who killed Edward's dad originally. Maya was the one who came up with that during the court case. So she was the one who did it. <laughs> Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Save your own situation. Down on me, even though we're the same age. Are you done yet? You've caused me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you, and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring your father back. Hmph. <laughs> Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion. And then we will know who the real winner is. <laughs> Maya came up with the idea it was Von Karma during that. She was just like, hey, like right after that, Von Karma took a break. What if he took a break because he was shot? That was Maya's idea. That was Maya's idea. And then when she said that, that's when it's just like, oh fuck, she's actually right. That's the one of like the best moments just ever. To be fair, if she's I don't like I said, taking revenge on Nick would be very in character. I don't even. Is it revenge for her dad, or is it just like revenge for the name Von Karma? <laughs> I mean, because, like, what we've seen... <laughs> 15 years of planning for a penalty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing. Manfred is fucked up, right? Manfred is fucked up. And Manfred was also, like, actively lying. What we've seen of Francisco so far, she hasn't manufactured or lied or made up anything. She goes... She has that same presence in the courtroom as her father of trying to, like... Inti like intimidate or silent or rush things. She has all of that, but when it comes to the actual facts of the case, she's never actually lying about anything. She's not making up anything. When we catch her out on something that isn't accurate, she seems shocked. She seems like she's like, wait a minute, what the fuck? I didn't know about this, or wait a minute, I didn't piece this together yet. Or, or anything like that. She doesn't seem to be actively like lying about anything. Which again is the same as Edgeworth. We were told from the start that Edgeworth was just like, he'll do anything to get a verdict through and everything like that. Like, oh, is this like the fake autopsy report? And the, like the fake the fake autopsy report was accurate. It was actually accurate. It was just updated. It was just it was just updated with new information that they got. Edgeworth never presented false evidence except for SL9, which he was like manipulated into doing and stuff like that. So she seems to be like Edgeworth. It's like she has like the like she has, like, the values as a prosecutor of Edgeworth, but she has the personality in the courtroom of her father, which is really interesting. It's going to right when you hit uh, next going into an elevator. No particular reason. Court will now reconvene us, all right? Yes, Your Honor? Can you, can you prove this any mini and a motive? Yes, I believe I can. Any mini and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection. And that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miss Minnie, please testify to this court about your car accident last year. Huh? I thought, like, you wanted to, like, ask about my, like, motive. Ah, uh, like, don't say the point in, like, bringing up the past. Miss Minnie, you please. Okay, okay. Like, I totally don't think I'll do anything good, but... That was, like, last year, in May. April, May? Like, something really bad had happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then. And, like, the night of the accident, my sister was totally tired while she was driving. I was, like, totally pepped to tell, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. I, like, woke up because of a job, and, like, I was a sea of flames around me. I like open the door and like get away. Hmm. I think I've heard of this incident. There was a little talk on the tabloid show this day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister. Whoa! Those were merely rumors. Totally baseless gossip. Hmm. Yes, Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Right now, it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray didn't fed drug Miss Minnie's sister. Yeah. 
which means I'll have to work from um work this from another angle. Last year in May, press. Isn't some sort of med medical malpractice happening at Sister's Hospital then? Yeah, like, that was a May too. Like, the thing with all the patients dying was, like, May 2nd. And, like, our accident was on, like, the 23rd. Two accidents back to back. Do you assume it's just a coincidence? My sis was, like, totally tired, so that's why. Duh. Something really bad happened, I'm like, since I'm looking around there. That was a malpractice in incident where 14 patients died, correct? Yeah. What was the cause of the mistake? Like, I heard it was because the medicines got, like, mixed up. Is that the fault of your sister? Me, me, me? Like, no way! That's a great! Like, why not to blame it on my sis? That incident has nothing to do with our mother. Besides, the police report has already documented that it was entirely Mimi Mini's fault. As far as the real facts are concerned, Mimi Mini is the only one who made a mistake. But, like, it really wasn't my sis. It's interesting that you're so gone with that because Dr. Gray doing that would, like, help give you a murder. This is totally tired of her. She was totally tired? You mean exhausted? Like, she had to talk to the police and, like, was being investigated, like, every day. It was, like, a totally terrible situation. It's no wonder that the car accident happened, huh? <laughs> Press harder on this car accident where your sister died. So then, why don't you um, ask to switch places? Huh? Like, what are you talking about? I meant switch drivers. If your sister was so tired, then you should have switched with her. True, true. Ah, but like, I don't have like, a driver's license. This is news to me. I was not aware you didn't have your license, Miss Minnie. Miss Minnie, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, anyway. What's that type of thing that comes? Hello, I work the job. Okay, so, okay, you just added that to the end. Okay. I was about to say, wait. <laughs> Thomas Sanders? I don't. I don't know who that is. Totally cool. I'm still, still going to press everything just to see if there's anything else that comes up. It's this, but, you know. The accident happened at night, correct? Yeah, like, it was a sort of, like, 1 a.m. or so, I think. I had, like, a pepper disc, like, really soon. So, like, I ended up to end up was working, like, real hard. So it's because the two of you were so tight that this accident happened. What got because of a gel in the same time for me? And your sister? What happened to her? Ah. I didn't see her. The car was like totally black and there was like a ton of smoke. I like totally had like no clue what was going on. Walked the door and like got away. Please tell us more about your escape in detail. I, I like kept wanting to forget that time. So like I don't remember things about the accident in like detail anymore. Well, it's alright. No need to push yourself. I think I like gave an interview after um, after the accident. Like that would probably be the most accurate, you know. That's the article, and I've already got it. Not that I'm gonna present it. Let me reread this. Oh, late last night, two women crashed. Uh, one woman was not able to escape the plane wreckage and died at the side. I'm going to investigation revealed the driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. Uh, Tell the dropped drop. Um, Dropped off sleep, then there was a car crash, and I like welcome to each sea of flames. Off sleep, I got the um opened um, the right door and I like got out, I don't remember anything else. Uh, Miss Minnie's believed she um the one driving the car was her sister Mimi Mini. Mimi Mini was the nurse at Grey Social Clinic. Um is it just that uh, just a big coincidence? The right hand does the, the driver's door. Mm -hmm. 
You should have, uh, you should have mentioned that Cliff last time. Maybe he's upset. Like, I should falsehood that someone lies and says something factually wrong. I can just imagine that coming up, like, um, the counter in Danganronpa. Uh, the driver's side of a car is the right-hand side. The driver's side is the right-hand side. <laughs> There's also that. There's also that. There is also that detail. Dr. Hardy's treasured possession. Miss Minnie. That was a lame lie just now. <laughs> like, what him, man? America, the right hand is fashion to say. Is, uh, is this a look less for America? Oh, fuck. Right. Yes. Sorry. Car sides are on different sides in different parts of the world, aren't they? In Australia, in Australia, the driver's side is the right-hand side. I have no idea where the driver's hand side is on America. Well, well, right is passenger. What about Japan? I have no idea. In Australia, in Australia, the right-hand side is the driver's side. We drive on the left-hand side of the road. So yeah, for America, the driver's on the left and you drive on the right-hand side of the road. Right. That is a thing that exists. I don't drive, so I forgot about that detail. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you are correct on that front. You are correct on that front. Never mind. Never mind. Scratch. Well, maybe still mind? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's still suspiciousness going on here. Japan is like Australia, I believe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it just really depends. Really depends. Today I found out. Wow! This is one of the ones where, where Australia is actually the odd one out. Well, there you go! Huh. Normally when you see maps of one country does this, the rest of the world doesn't, it's normally the United States that's the odd country out. It's- my phone just will not shut up. My phone says not shutting up about the thing being plugged into it. Um, <laughs> yeah, normally maps like this show, Astra uh, United States is like the only place that does metric or the only place that does Fahrenheit or anything like that. Wow, yeah, there's very few places in the world that actually do left end then. But the only parts in, um, in Asia is like, um, my brain is saying India, but I could be wrong on that. I forget. I always get like which side India and China are on mixed up. But Japan, and then just Australia and all the parts surrounding Australia. And then parts of South America. Uh, um, Africa. <laughs> wow. Wow. So it's most of the world that's, uh, that drives on the right hand side. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. Today I found out. I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took for the express purpose of getting a driver's license. Um, what is the meaning of this, Miss Minnie? Uh, 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 that's it, that's right. Uh, I had like a license, but, but I didn't get it until after the accident. No, you didn't. No, you had it. it was the other day I was watching an Australian Japanese YouTuber talking about how he didn't want to drive in America. I mean, I don't want to drive anywhere, but. <laughs> I imagine, I imagine being somewhere where you drive on one hand, one side of the road, and then you switch over to the other. It would completely and utterly throw you off. I have no idea if there's like one that's technically better or anything like that. I don't even know if overall it actually matters or anything like that. I would have no idea. Like three quarters of the population are right-handed, one quarter of the population is left-handed. Is there a difference in terms of like, you're on the left or right-hand side, whether left-handed or right being right-handed makes it easier? I have no idea. I have no idea. But Australia is the odd one now, so you can make fun of us for that. But not me, because I don't drive. Not just because medically I can't. Even if I medically could, I probably still wouldn't. You had it at the time of the accident. Director Hoddy. Oh, the guy pretending to be him anyway said so! What? Are you talking about that perverted fake clinic doctor? Wow. <laughs> uh, uh, left, uh, left driving is safer if you're right-handed and vice versa. Well, there you go. Wait, so if, wait, so if there's more right-handed... If there's more right-handed people than left-handed people, then why does most of the world do right, um, right side driving? I mean, obviously, it's not a good situation anyway. It's not like there's no left-handed people. It's a quarter. <laughs> so, no matter what, you're gonna make it fucked for someone. Coincidence? Do you like to change it? Fair. <laughs> Fair. Nap Napoleon? Fucking Napoleon. 
I, I like how Annie's just like, oh yeah, it's just a perverted doctor, yeah. Straight up just a fucking pervert. Creepy. Yes, that perverted fake clinic doctor. Ouch! No one cares! Witness, when did you receive your driver's license? Like, last November! What? November? The accident happened late l last May. Let's have any ups in time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. When the- th 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 That's what happened, Mr. Wright. At the time of the accident, Miss Minnie did not have a driver's license. I just- Ow! Cry in my weep will accommodate. I just- We just- We just pointed out that she had it at the time of the accident! How did they ignore that? I just- How did they ignore that? How do they know that? I just showed that she had it at the time of the accident. Or have we not said that? Or do we have to establish that Hottie got it at the time of the accident? Is that because we haven't established that? They just ignored it. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could not have switched drivers. I'm like, I'm glad you get it, but like, even if I have my license, I like don't make my sis put it up. Like, let me drive. Hmm. Ow! Just stand there and humming to yourself. Why are you doing, Mia? The whip and the pain and the owl. Miss Minnie, why do you think you had not been allowed to drive anyway? Eh, uh, um, that's because. I think the situation calls for more detailed testimony. Miss Minnie, if you please. Eh, uh, like, how annoying. Oops, like, sorry, didn't mean to be mean. I wouldn't be allowed. Like, around that time, I was like really close to getting my lessons. My sis was like this totally big fan of cars and like really valued them. She like had just gotten this really shiny bright red spots car. She like would have said things like, no way am I letting a noob drive my car. So like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night too. It was. It was a fancy car that we saw in the cutscene. Well, it was a red car at the very least. Hmm, I see. A bright red car for sports. Now then, the defense may question the witness. I'm not terribly knowledgeable about cars. I run everywhere, but... <laughs> really close to my lessons. So what do you mean by really close? Like, I have one of those permit things. I think that's what they're called. Um, permit. Wow, the big name lawyer doesn't even know what a driver's permit is? Well, this lawyer never had a permit. Ah! Ignorance is to be whipped. What is with her? What's in the last few minutes is utter nonsense. So, like, Mac a tenure? So, is that what we had? Is that what Hottie had? Or is it still all bullshit? She valued cars. How much would you say she valued her car? Well, like, she'd flip out, like, a drop of rain. And, like, she would notice that someone, like, touched the car to her dirty hands. Okay, so why bother taking the car out of the garage ever? <laughs> why she had a special car, um, care of the car? How can you say that? It was a brand spec in the car! New car? Like, you won't want to, like, get it dirty, would you miss that layer? I think the car's getting dirty is just another fact of life, but people who really love cars like otherwise. Okay, next we're asking something that was significant, all right. Well, Miss Minnie, what kind of car was it? She's got a really bright, really shiny, bright red sports car. It was a new car. Yeah, she had, like, just gotten it. It was from, like, the UK. Oh, look back at the map! Ah! 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 <laughs> ah! This map's important! Can we submit this map as evidence? <laughs> Can we submit the map as evidence into the courtroom? Your Honor! Your Honor! Any! Oi! Any! The UK, you say? The UK, you fucking say? The UK! <laughs> the UK! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! It was important! It's important! 
It's important! The right hand side is the fucking driver's door! <laughs> ah! <laughs> The Uck? Those are boyfriend's initials? <laughs> and it was a really special model. She had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. Judge. Because <laughs> I love a cause would be the obvious next topic. I really don't know anything about cars, but I had a feeling this was bound to come up. Your Honor! Yes. Please have the witness append what she just said to her testimony. You mean the part about it being a special import car? Yes. Oh, well, if you like cars that much, then. That's not my point! But to be honest, I don't know what, her, what the point is either. <laughs> this guy have a job. It's nepotism, isn't it? I think he's just the only one who's willing to put up with the bullshit in a courtroom. Do you, do you think you could deal with people like fucking Phoenix and Francisca and Edgeworth and Payne and not just like quit as a judge within a day? <laughs> I wouldn't want that job. Miss Minnie, would you please fix your testimony? Sure, whatever. My sister in car was like a totally special model from England. Sure, the same thing's about no way am I letting a noob drive my car. Okay, so if I press on this one, he's actually 100 years old saying I was cut find a replacement. Okay, so I, I pressed that one, right? Yeah. I yelled told it pretty forcefully, but... <laughs> Mikey, how are your dogs fucking so much? Nobody else wants it, that's why he's so old. <laughs> he's been trying his best. I actually know what to ask about cars. Ask for the heck of it! <laughs> um, so, yes. Am I supposed to pick for a topic? Let's start with this. Why are British cars good? <laughs> You're just asking to be whipped at this point. You're just asking to be whipped at this point. Like, huh? They're expensive and the driver's seat up. And their driver's seat's the opposite of our cars here in the States. He does mention it. They mention this here in case you don't know and you didn't have someone in chat to show you the map. So we can just go BAM. It would seem there is no benefit to owning one. <laughs> I don't know much about cars, but I know the one detail that matters. Here in the States of Japan, I mean America. Like, huh? It's all steering wheel on the right side thing. It's kinda goofy, isn't it? Yo, what are you in now? That's like shit that way I watch that! I feel a matter of transition to call breathe in the AC! I wonder if someone here cares about cars. Forgive me. Personality really changes the drop of a hat. It's interesting, isn't it, Phoenix? Bit by bit, we're beginning to see the real contradiction behind this case. Do I just show the evidence there? Was your sister good at driving? She's like, Tada awesome! She, like I said, she was once gonna be like the racing queen of the nesting world. Some other thing about my question off track again. And that was in the accident, correct? Like, yeah. I like immediately reached uh, for the passenger side door and fled, like, in a daze. Sounds like you had a terrifying tour. There's something very big here. It's gonna be hard to break apart such a natural sounding testimony. But we have an attack. We have to attack him by doing something off the little shell itself. It has to. You really think so? Leave. There is a path. I know it. I must sound like a prophet there for a second. So, do I. Okay, so. Hmm. Do I just throw the evidence at this? I don't think I throw the evidence at this. I think I throw... I think I throw it at this. Yeah, 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 because she says she ended up in the passenger's seat. And then we throw this, which says that she reached for the right side door. Yeah, we do this. We do this, yeah. We don't, the thing that she added isn't actually what we press, but she needs to add that for what we're throwing at her to actually do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Minnie, do you remember this article? It's an article about the accident. You had said this in it. But I, but I opened the right door and like got out. The terrible impression of my fan next, fuck yeah. <laughs> That's correct, isn't it? 
back. Why you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger seat? The left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left side. That would be if it were an American car, but it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite? The two of them are riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be the left side. <laughs> okay, no, Von Karma's is pasted together too. Von Karma's is pasted together too. Well, what do you mean by this? Miss Minnie, you said that you had escaped using the right side door of the car. But if you were sitting there, then that means you were in the driver's seat. Ah! Let's fucking go! Order, order, order the coin! Order, order! Ah! It's the Phoenix that is probably nonsense again! And he said the person was driving was the older sister, Mimi Mimi. That is what Annie said, yes. That is where her story falls apart. <laughs> oh, right. How is it not torn to shreds yet? It's had so many holes put into it. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix. Looks like you finally found the real root of this model. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. There's so many holes in it. I'd like to ask the court a question. Any or <laughs> any Mimi Miney. The entire deal, the entire deal about like the switching of identities and everything was just for this fucking bun. God damn it! <laughs> like obviously, I can tell from the beginning that any Mimi Miney is like. Where the where the pun goes and like and stuff like that, but the fact that it's actually coming up. Oh my god, this fucking game. <laughs> Any, Mimi, Miney. <laughs> no, like too great for a pun. <laughs> I like to ask the court a question. Any or Mimi? Who was really driving that night? Mimi, Mimi, Miney. The answer is the one person who had, the one person who had a driver's license. Mimi Miney. Mimi. I still like saying Mimi because it just rhymes better, but it is Miney. So them them saying about the driver's license thing. <laughs> Any Mimi is my Mimi. My, 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 my. Ah, it's too hard to say. It's too hard to say. So them saying before that Innie didn't have a driver's license actually now just fucked them over. Because now we can confirm that ah uh, Mimi was driving. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But you just said the witness, Miss Innie Mini, was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. The <laughs> Alright. Now, ah, next question. Question. <laughs> Who is the person standing at the witness stand right now? Ah! What sort of idiot rules is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This witness's name. This witness's name is... I'll tell you what her name really is. This witness's real name... Oh wow, this is worth five. This is worth fucking five. Mimi Miney. That is your real name. Objection. Of all the footage to dribble! Then, then how do you explain her appearance? This witness had severe facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, the surgeons used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery? This is the picture she gave to her doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister. Oh, fucking hell. God. So Mimi is like fucking evil. Mimi is like evil. She is like actually fucking evil. If it's true, it, if it's true that Grey had nothing to do with that malpractice of the people dying and it was Mimi who actually killed them, 
if that is actually the truth, then what Mimi has done is killed a bunch of people in malpractice, gotten the blame for it, like, tried to, like, make claims that it was actually grey, gone into a car accident, which was probably just an accident from all the stress that was happening. Her sister fucking dies in the car accident, and then she goes, if I take on the identity of my sister who just died, I don't get in trouble for any of that other stuff. Because the person who did all that other stuff is dead. And then it comes out that Grey is going to do a, a, like, a channeling technique thing, and it's just like, shit, they're gonna call for Mimi. Mimi's currently alive. If they call for that and find out Mimi's alive, I'm gonna get busted. I better murder Grey and then blame this other woman for it. Actually evil! This woman is actually fucking evil! Holy shit! It is, it seems like she's just at fault for fucking everything and has just thrown so many under, other people under the bus for this. Holy fuck, she's fucked up! Oh my god! It's a picture of a younger sister. No! But, Mimi Money, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. The, the, then, the, the, the body they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Mimi Money. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Money? That car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Mimi Money. Definitely explains. It definitely explains um, the thing of just like, why does the person who was pretending to be Maya look like Mimi? <laughs> Definitely explains that. Her sister, Mimi, then stole her face and was reborn as Mimi. With this, she effectively erased Mimi mining from existence. Your Honor, I'm sure you can now see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Grey. What do you mean? Ah! What is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Grey wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Miney. However, that n would not have been possible. Because Mimi Miney was still, in fact, alive. There's your fucking motive. And the fact. And that fact would have been discovered that the. And the fact. Ah, and that fact would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening. At all costs. And. And. And that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. Whoa. Whoa, Miss Innie. I, I mean, Miss. Uh, yeah. Why did I say my name just now? <laughs> Looks like I've been unmasked. Witness? That's right, I admit it. My real name is Mimi Money. That quack doctor, he got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi too. So close. But, but why? Why would you go so far as to throw her away, um, as to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Money wanted to dis- wanted her old self to disappear because of this. Yet, it's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. The nurse by the name of Mimi Money. That's right, the person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this mishap, Mimi Money had a car accident in which she lost her younger sister. The, the, the timing could have been worse. 14 patients dying in that incident, and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it up. The only way 
She lost everything in the flames of that accident, her sister. And even her own face. This was her last chance. It's still fucked up. It's still so fucked up. It is still immensely fucked up. Yeah, it's traumatic and shit like that. It's still fucked up. It is still fucked up. It is still wildly selfish. To the people who died, to your sister, and then to Grey to try and kill him afterwards, and then to Maya to blame the murder on her. Like, yeah, it's what she went through was traumatic and stuff like that, but fuck, it does not even come close to justifying what she's done, for, done to make up for it. A chance to throw away her past and start a new life as a sister. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jab. I finally get thought of that channeling mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo? Becoming Indian has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling, the occult. I hate it. I hate it all. And that was why you're so willing to blame Maya. Because you hate who you had become and who you and what you cared about. I believe there are still a few unresolved riddles here, such as why did Miss Mighty choose to go with such a complicated plan? And why did Miss Morgan pay agree to help her execute? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant, my affair. Th th this This is preposterous! I I I'm perfect! Me, Francisco von Kahn. I'm gonna enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Kama. How about you? It's gonna be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Ow! Ah! Ah! Ow! 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 And one more for good measure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't just perform a super finisher on someone in the courtroom, Francisca. But Phoenix, hang in there, Phoenix. Phoenix. <laughs> and now Phoenix has died. Bad end. It's good as a fraud, a sham! Surely that would be some form of penalty. Now then. It looks like it'll be some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness. So I'll go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Not guilty! The <laughs> Phoenix is just not even there. That is all. This court is adjourned. Yeah, we didn't even have to unravel everything. There are other details that, like, are about how that comes about, but that's not what we're here for. We're not here to prosecute Mimi. We're not here to prosecute her. We're here to defend Maya, and we've more than done that at this point. <laughs> like, there's still other stuff of just, like, how does it all happen and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. That's not for us to decide. That is not for us to decide. Congratulations, Maya. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh! She actually gets to see her! Cause then I get to, then I get to talk when, when Maya's, ah! Oh, oh, she actually gets to see her! Ah! Ah! Oh! She's been channeling her all this time, but it's always been it's always been Maya that's done it, so she's never actually gotten to talk to me a since. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh. <laughs> Yay! It's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis! Sis! I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis? In my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. Aww. Aww. <laughs> There's still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Mini had planes open the door to the chamber herself. And then you and Lotta would have witnessed quite a scene. 
I possessed my faith. I just committed a murder. So you're playing down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick! Congrats, Maya. Thanks! <laughs> Looks like you bailed me out of another jam. Well, you know. But... I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. Well, that's just a fucking... <laughs> okay. Okay. Can't wait, can't wait for Ace Attorney 3 where you're accused of another murder if they're just gonna say that shit. Okay. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. That's my sister, and now my aunt. Hey, Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would she help me be mining with a plan like that? I just... I just don't understand it, Nick. Maya, it's over. Why don't we just play it big? Nick, please, I need an answer. The reason Mom and Hill's uh, moving with their plan was... <laughs> Maya, if you didn't get spitted up a car in a sure it's a boring one. Not worth making a game about. Um... So these are the things that you can... Um, okay. So I'm gonna say what I think it is, but I need someone to confirm it because we don't want to fuck this up. Is the is the answer Pearl? Well, this is this people have said this before. We got, we've had this in other ones. We get one shot at this, and we get extra dialogue. We get it right. So I'll say what I think it is, but I want to make sure it's accurate. I want to make sure it's accurate. Because Morgan wants Pearl to become the next master. It is Pearl? Okay, good. <laughs> I figured it would be. I just have to check, because, because again, we get one shot. And we don't want to miss our chance to blow, because this opportunity comes once in a case. So you better get it right. That's the wrong thing. Take that! Take that! Pearly? Four years from now, a new master will be born into Kirai Village. And that person will be you, Maya. And? But if you weren't there, the main family's bloodline would disappear. And what would happen then? The branch family. My arm. No, Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. The next person would be... Pearls. Ah! Everything was done for her sake. It was also that Pearls would become the next monster. Yeah, I can see that. Hmm? Did Maya say something just now? I think that she was saying I thought so. Is, is the idea of Morgan being super jealous about this been very obvious to the, um, to, to, like, her family for a while now? Date and time unknown. Solitary confinement, cell 13. My precious Pearl. You are the only one suitable to be the master of Kirine, dear child. I sacrifice it all. All for you. I hope that brainless nurse carry out a murder and cooperate with that whip-happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl. That's my affair. <clears throat> but I shall be patient, my dearest pal. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. Why do I feel like we have, like, a main antagonist? <laughs> it feels like... Turnabout big... Th you can't just! You can't! You can't just put the words Big Top over Francisca. You can't do that. You can't do that. Corella DeVille with the crazy obsession. Really is. You can't just put the words Big Top over Francisca. Like, come on. Like, obviously, yeah, probably, but like... 
Have some subtlety. <laughs> Have some level of subtlety. <laughs> well, people won't we'll give it to them. What's well, this? Like the previous game didn't necessarily have like a main villain. I mean, like it it had Manfred. Like because there, there has there's not really been like there's not a story that continues over the first game. Like there's there's no story that goes from one to the other. All of the cases are separate cases. Big top von Karma. Yeah, like there's there's no connecting storyline, quote unquote, that connects the the cases in the first game. But there's definitely character arcs that are carried throughout the game, like what's happening with Phoenix, what's happening with Maya and her family and stuff like that. Um, what's happening with Edgeworth and how Edgeworth eventually leaves to Von Karma and stuff like that. <clears throat> like there's the character arc that carries over in the first game a lot, but there's no real like every like the cases get connected or anything like that. It does, so it does make me wonder with her. It does make me wonder with her if, like, she's going to come up in cases later on in this game. Or maybe, maybe she'll show up in the next game, or, like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because normally, because so, that, that's the thing. Because she didn't do the murder, she's still alive. She's in solitary confinement, but she wasn't the one who personally did the murder. That was Mimi. So Mimi's dead. Mimi's dead. Because <laughs> like any main any main villains that we like any big villains that we have in the previous game are the murderers. So they're fucking dead. The biggest people who are the problems in the first game are the murderers. Gant, Von Karma, Red White. Like they are the murderers in their cases. So there is that. I mean, there was the girl who, like, with the Steel Samurai. And she did it in self-defense, so she's not dead, but she's also not, like, a core villain or anything like that of the game or anything. She's just one of the extra... Um, she's just a person in one of the cases. So, yeah, it's interesting that we now have Morgan, who we've thoroughly pissed off and has, super, has a massive vendetta against one of the main fucking characters of the game. And after we've, like, fucked over her plans, she's still alive. So she could come up and it could still be a fucking problem. So it is a little concerning. It is a little concerning. Fuck, this game is so good. Fucking hell. Ace Attorney is so fucking good. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> These games are great. These games are so fucking good. Holy shit. Holy shit. When you get that moment, and like every case has done it. Every case does it. And it's just... They've got, like, they had, they had, honestly, they had the patent, the patent, like, the patent down in the first fucking game very early on. I mean, like, the first case is a bit of a tutorial, so there's not much of it there. But taking, like, from taking down Red White onwards, they have, like, nailed it of just how good it fucking feels to go against someone who seems to have all the cards stacked in their favor. Everything is on their side. And you slowly chip away at them until you get one crack in the wall of one big breakthrough. And once you get that one big breakthrough, you are just onslaughting them. Constant, constant, constant. You know, once you get that first massive break, like, on the person who you're going to um, take down at the end of the case, you just keep going. Even if you get a minor setback, you smash it down just as hard as everything else. And you just pummel them in with, like, constant shit. And, I mean, and it makes sense with what it is, because the people think they have the perfect cover, the perfect, ca um, the perfect case, the perfect defense, and everything like that, to stop them from being caught out. And you get to that one moment where you get that in and they're fucked. And at that point, they're on the defense. And because they weren't planning for the defense or because they're panicking, everything from that point is them making fuck-ups, them making mistakes that aren't as strong as their solid tight case that they had at the start. So you just pummel them further and further. Like, turning around where she's just like, oh, I don't have a motive. And so you're just slowly turning around things. And then you get the car. And then you get the recon facial reconstruction. And then you get the spirit channeling. And you just pommel them in with it. It's so good. It's a fighting and combo in a visual novel. I mean, that's the whole thing about fucking um, Phoenix in Marvel 3. <laughs> like, that is literally Phoenix's gameplay style in Marvel 3. 
which now playing the Phoenix Wright games, holy shit, did they really transplant Phoenix into Marvel 3 perfectly? Even if you don't know Marvel 3, I quoted the super when we took down Von Karma in the last game, like he's, um, like he's, um, like he's biggest hyper combo, or whatever the full... Is Hyper Combo... Hyper Combo is, like, the name of the supers in that game, but I can't remember if there's a name for, like, the highest level Hyper Combo. The highest level Hyper Combo, whatever it is. I quoted that. But, like, Phoenix's whole thing in that is... Because it's a fighting game, and he's a fucking lawyer. At the start, his attacks are weak as shit. He does very, very little. Like, all of his attacks have, like, small hitboxes. Like, um, I think they've got a decent amount of end lag. They don't do a ton of damage and stuff like that. Um, and anything like that. I don't know if any of them are hitting, like, negative on every attack or anything like that. Some of them probably, a, a, a bunch of them probably are. But the main thing with him is that while he's in the middle of that, he has to use this move to gather evidence. And he can gather just, like, random items. And sometimes there'll be a crucial piece of evidence and that gets added to your evidence file. And sometimes they're not and you just gotta throw it away. And once he builds up all of them, that's when he does the big objection. And then once he does that, he becomes the most powerful character in the game. All his attacks are absurdly good. He has so many extra combos opened up. He does so much damage. Hitboxes are fucking everywhere. And it's just like, wow, that really is just how the games work. But as a fighting game, he is on the defense. He is on the back foot. He is trying to work out a way of what to do around the person who's trying to just relentlessly pummel him in the fighting game until he gets all the evidence until he gets to that point where he can do the turnabout and then he does that and once he gets that he's the one who's doing the endless barrage the endless assault and you cannot fucking stop him they it's amazing it's amazing how well they translated that into a fucking fighting game now actually because like I, like i've like i've been seeing marvel footage for like you know the games over 10 years old at this point i've been like i don't play fighting games because i'm terrible at them but i like watching them so i've seen marvel and i've seen phoenix in it and stuff like that but fucking wow now playing the games and seeing what the feel of the game is like they nailed how he feels in marvel compared to this and it's so yeah as you say it's very satisfying i mean i thought the last game was um the, the game was funny last time but now i truly get why people play them it's cathartic oh yeah no this yeah this is the moment you play for like the game is funny but, and that's the thing, even, outs even outside of that cathartic moment, even outside of that cathartic moment where you do the turnabout, even outside of that, like, the characters are funny, the mystery is intriguing, like, the characters are just cool to see interact with each other, like, Phoenix has a really good back and forth with a lot of the characters, especially Maya, obviously especially Maya, and stuff like that, so, like, all of that process getting to that point is still fun for a lot of different reasons, good characters, good music, and, and the mystery and Ing Dragon working all of that stuff out. I'm trying to work out your puzzles and stuff like that. But the big moments are, yeah, the ends of the cases where you tear someone to shreds. It is so fucking satisfying. It is so good. And it's just like, goddamn. Goddamn. Again, taking down Manfred in the previous game is some of the most satisfying shit, like, in a game. It is, it is one of the most satisfying, like, final bosses to take down. Just because actually getting to the point where you could knock down Von Karma as far as you fucking do is wild that you're able to do that. You, you as the player, don't even know if it's possible. And then you manage to pull through and it's just like, fuck. Oh, God. His games are so good. His games are so fucking good. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. We're out of here for the time being. Um, I know it's a short stream, but... I think it would be awkward to have an episode of this that is the end of one case and the start of another one. So I'm going to wait till next time to do that. That's just how it will be. <laughs> but it's really hot. I'm actually kind of glad that this is a shorter stream, so I'm not melting so constantly. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you the next time when we play more Phoenix Wright, Pwajafa. So until then, this is version 2, signing out.